Welcome everyone to another short video. My memory arrived. Of all places actually found the best price on eBay. On Amazon they were significantly more expensive with matching Samsung. To see if it makes a difference for the dual channel memory configuration. Did not even screw it back in in anticipation of this test update. So Samsung and I, at least according to the listing, it should exactly be the same. Let's see how that goes. Fish said would not have this latches there. Yeah, the writing, unfortunately the writing of that is on the other side, but I made a photo of that earlier that I can blend in to double check. So here I have the photo which says M47A1 K4 3 CB1 CRC okay, this says CRC this says CTC so isn't yeah, actually there it continues so this module although I ordered exactly that one is another one then I wonder how much luck we will have with that one so one week later because I overlooked that this memory modules were 2400 megahertz and and the ThinkPad would not work with them maybe the other module worked however so maybe this was a defect module anyway so let's try it again let's see if this module works maybe I should Unpack the module first to see if this is now the right module. Here, this is now CTD, and I only checked the rest of the number. It's of course entirely stupid that M471AK43CB1 exists twice once with the 2400 and once with the 2666 megahertz version. The only difference is CTD and the other was whatever the other was and yeah so always double check all the digits so let's see how that goes sure better than the last time And by the way, the last time, not sure if I still have it on video. It beeped crazily, yeah, so maybe this works now because the last time it also beeped enormously loud, like an alarm horn, the PC speaker crazy loud. So I guess this works in your yeah, 16 gig. So thank you very much to this seller who was so kind to change it for me to the CTD one. And let's then run the benchmark again and see if the dual channel memory makes better difference when it's running with the same 2666 modules. I also in the Linux kernel realized that the power consumption is bigger when you have an external display running because then apparently the GPU is not clocking down as much. Apparently for a second display it may need a higher bandwidth and for this it needs to run at a higher base clock. So let's see Cinebench, we should still have it here somewhere in the download folder. Are we? Yeah, we are plugged in and downloads Cinebench 
let's see what we're getting. Two difference from last time. First, so supposedly identical spec 2666 MHz, also on the DMI information as well on the web configurator Lenovo lists that it would only run with 2400 MHz anyway. And right now, no display plugged in that could make a difference theoretically. But no, it is not faster. This is really strange that with dual channel memory it is slower. I really wonder why. And this is now the completely identical. So no longer some mismatch in that configuration or whatsoever. This is of course really curious. So there you have it, the results are entirely identical to what we had before with the not as closely matched memory module. So no misconfiguration in that regard. Really curious why that is so. If you have any idea it would be awesome if you leave it in the comments below. Aside from this I think the only chance is to download some chipset CPU register bit decoding things like CPU set something that shows the actual configured clock rates. Maybe it's clocking it slightly down with two memory modules or some strange stuff like that. Maybe even for power consumption. But yeah, there we have it. This Lenovo Wi-Fi security. Awesome. Yeah, so I hope you liked this update and learned something. Don't forget to share, like and subscribe. And I hope to see you soon for the next videos to come.